How's everybody doing? I'm Nick Gibson. This is Sam Meyerkoff, and this is Barcelona. You're watching EuroLeague Adventures TV. Kind of moved here for the weather. Things are cooling down a little bit. Might ask for our money back. We'll see how that goes. We're here in week seven of the EuroLeague. Thursday, as has usually been the case, more games. We got seven. Better weeks. games. Better games. Usually. Usually. Strategic. I see you, Jordy. Getting right into it, we got Unix Kazan. I put him at four on my power rankings this week. Uh, to the disappointment of many, it seemed. However, they're at home, they're playing well, and they got Galatasaray coming into town, a team they need to be, they need to bury just to assert their role in this group as uh, the third best team. I think they get it done by 11 at home. I think Unix wins by 12, 10, 10, sorry. Don't want, don't want to overshoot myself <laughs> there. The, Careful, That man. two points could be kind of crazy. Top, top four, so final four contender or top four right now? Top four right now, I mean, I factor in the way they position themselves with their road wins, beating all the teams they need to beat, and then last week with the win at Siena, huge. So as far as where they position themselves, the way that they could really propel the rest of the year, they but could final go. Final four contender. I'm saying no final four contender. No, no. final four contender. No. I don't think so either, but you have yeah. you had them at four. You had them at four, so I was yeah, wondering exactly, what, exactly. for now. Exactly. No, not necessarily a final four predict these power rankings. It's about what you've done, who you've beaten, and how things are looking. Right now, for Unix Kazan, not a, not a problem in the world. Galatasaray won't be a problem either. Fenerbahce Ulker playing at home against Olympiacos, a very important game in a cluster bunch of a group, we'll call it, for the kids watching at home. I think Fenerbahce wins by five. I get Olympiacos by six. Benuelos has been on fire recently. This group is a pick your, take all the teams, pick them in a hat every game. You don't know who's going to win. Group A is crazy, but I think Olympiacos can be a little crazier. Sarait, next up, Union Olympia at home against Montepaschi Siena. Siena coming off that loss. Union Olympia, one in five. Been getting blown out a little bit recently, too. They need to really show what they're worth. I think even at home, it's not enough. Siena, they keep respectable, only beat them by nine. I guess Siena would have like 17. I think Union's the worst team in the EuroLeague. Yeah? Worst team in the EuroLeague. They're not worse than the Psycho Pro Com. Worse than the Psycho Pro Com. What happened when they played face to face? The Psycho Pro Com lost. That's by what I points. thought. That's what I thought. Bennett Cantu playing at home against Caja Laboral. Caja Laboral needs this road win. Cantu has been struggling. Solid home team. But I think the luck runs out. Kaha Laboral, Mirza Teltovic. It's too much for you. Cantu won all three home games. Cantu lost all three road games. But they haven't had the best team in the group in their house. It's going to be a great crowd. It's going to be a great atmosphere. But Kaha narrowly Still with a little Mirza edge. Magic by three. Mirza Magic times two. Uh, EA7, Emporio, Armani, Jeans, Milano, whatever the hell. Um, they're going to be losing Danil Gallinari very soon, which sucks for them because really everyone else has been a disappointment. You go to the line, Omar Cook, underachieving. Ionis Barusis, underachieving. Malik Harrison, very solid start, shaky since then. Leon Rodosvic, a rising star pick of the game of the year, hasn't done anything. Drew Nicholas, one Drew, incredible yeah, game. One incredible quarter, basically, yeah, and, and nothing not else besides else. that. So this team... Fotis injured. Well, well, where where do you point there. the finger? I mean, I guess they added the wrong piece of this offseason. Omar Cook, okay in spurts. You can't have him handling the ball for 30 minutes and rest your whole team on that. No. I think if you don't bring in any other point guards with him or don't have anyone really else able to play point guard next to him, that, that was a rescue for disaster. My finger is pointing at you, Sergio Scariolo. I think he's got to go. He has enough pieces to do more than what he's been able to do. You would fire him right now. I'd fire him right now. Right now. Get him out of there. Get someone else in there. There she is. To the game, though. They have a chance at home to beat a Madrid team that's won a couple straight, heating up without Rudy Fernandez with injury. What's going to happen? Uh, I got Madrid by eight. I think Milano is still reeling too much right now. And Madrid, yes, they can be off and on depending how their shooting's doing from game to game. But against Milan, where defense is sometimes questionable, I like Madrid. Always questionable. Yeah. I think it's going to be a game where defense is uh, questionable. Last time they met up, it was your must watch, and it was quite. Quite a little bit of a doozy. Madrid is is built to win big at home. That's what they're they're built to win big at home. They get in streaks, they get in spurts, they get hot. Those are the sorts of things that fall apart in the road. I don't see them getting it done. Milano by five. And last up, we got Partizan. Talk about home court advantages there. Oh, we do. Uh, Procom Barcelona. I hardly, really count, I, I hardly count, count Procom, who is the worst team in the Euroleague. <laughs> Partizan. They're playing at home against Maccabi. 
I got them getting it done. Nikola Pekovic and Makvan inside. Yes, this dynamic duo is going to break apart soon, but Peck has one more big dominant game in him after his worst week in a while. Maybe in his early career last week with a negative ranking. Party's on by five. Maccabi's looked great. Sofo first actual game where you were like, wow, he's actually going to play well for a half. The first half. But <laughs> you never get two halves yeah. out of him. Pekovic, horrible foul trouble. And that's the key. So Sofo, Pekovic, both getting foul trouble, both real hard to defend. But Pekovic, he's not leaving a bad taste in those no, parties on a fan's mouth. Party's on by two. Double. Last up, we already talked about it a little bit of Seco Procom playing at home, looking for that first win still against Barcelona, who are doing everything they can to avoid that first loss. Everything holds on how it has been going. Procom loses, Barca wins. But I, I didn't even write, oh, I did. 13. I mean, that's being kind. Uh, yeah, I got Barcelona by 20, but JC Navarro looks like not going to play. Yes. So that just means. Who else is going to score 20 points? That's why I said. Is it P. Michael who's going to score 20 points tonight? Is okay, Chuck Eidson? Yeah, yeah. Is exactly. it a toss? Uh, it's not going to make a difference. Procom, Money Use playing great. Everyone else, please step your game up with them. So you're telling me that Joe Ingles and Zavi Ravisena finished the fourth quarter and it's 13 points instead of 19 points. Yeah. Not going to happen. Psycho Procom, great opportunity for a win. I wouldn't look forward to it. Time to play a little over under here. In our first game, uh, Unix Galatasaray, Terrell Lede, Kelly McCarty, combined rank versus Yaka. Lakovic and Josh Yeo. Lede and McCarty? I'll take Lede and McCarty. I'll take Lakovic and Ship just because you took Lede and McCarty. Now we got, oh, we got a second game. I can't read my damn handwriting. Old girl, old no, I got the game. Oh, here it is. Um, we got a guy who's been getting a lot of minutes recently, Kalen Lucas, going against uh, Curtis Geralds for Fender Bache Ulker. Who scores more points, Geralds or Lucas? Gerald still. Gerald still. A little bit of a better outside shot. I'm going to take him. Oh, okay. We both just saw that Syracuse sweatshirt. Yes, yeah, right? Yeah. What up, bro? All right, uh, last up for me. The dynamic point guard duo of Alexander Chapman and uh, ben, ben, ben Woodhouse, as, as, as the announcers might call him. Combined rank versus Bo McCaleb. Bo McCaleb. I'm going to go Bo McCaleb's rank slightly. Only thing is, he might not get that many minutes if this thing gets blown out the water. That's true. But he's still been putting up, putting up points. Bad news for Siena. No Ramondas Calquines. They need. Talk about a team that needs to go sign somebody. Madrid wouldn't got Singler to fill the Fernandez void. Siena needs to go find somebody to play in the perimeter. That was a weakness they even with Calquines. They thought Rokosovic was going to be that extra guy. He hasn't quite fit in yet, so now it's, it's a mess. Do or die time for, for Igor, too. He needs to yeah. get in there and show him what's up. All right. Out. Can't you? Undefeated at home, also hasn't let anyone score 70 points against them. Does Kaha get there? Yes, Kaha scores 70 against them. I'm going to say Kaha does because he's getting the W. Yeah. Marty Potis, huge game last week, 20 points. Rudy's out. Singler's going to come in. We'll see how that rotation works out. But he's still going to get minutes tonight. Does Potis score with 15 points? Potis scores right at 15 points. I'm going to say slightly under. He's going to have to chase around Harrison, maybe Gallinari, getting their face on D. Higher rank, Peck or Sofa. Gotta go Peck. I'm gonna say Peck. And Donatas, two weeks ago, 26 points, nine boards. Last week, 22 and 10. Does he get a double double versus Barcelona? Double double? Yeah, he'll be in there enough. He'll, he'll get the boards and he'll just, the points will accumulate him. Someone's gotta score for him. I'm gonna say he's gonna get a double double. He's probably gonna play close to 35 yeah, minutes. It's so him, he's and gonna, it's he's, him, Alio Lafayette, and a bunch of nothing. Yeah. So, uh, good luck to you, Donatas. Good luck to you, Donatas. That's all we got. That's Sam Meyerkoff. I'm Nick Howdy. Gibson, EuroLeague Adventures TV. See y'all next time.